star. My star. My star. I apologize. I slept far too late. This is the last time that I accept drink offerings from traders. Safe passage be damned. I feel so weak. Star. Star. No. No, where... Where have you gone, Star? No. No, no, you can't be gone again. Please. Please. Not again. I did everything. Everything right this time. I gave you everything. Why have you run again? Why must everything that I love and value run from me? How could you have been led so far astray from me despite my efforts, my suffering? Every moment of your absence is a pin in my heart. You know this. Why do you run? I must find them. They make the world a whole again. They broke their chains and escaped here into the night. No different than last time. Didn't I warn you? You'll die out there in the sands. Either as food for a beast or through your own famine. If you even evade my notice, which... It's never going to happen. Did you think you could catch up to the caravan on foot? Star, you are smarter than this. And yet... You broke free. You could not possibly have unchained on your own. I heard you try for hours. Even when I sat with you, so ha- Wait. Scales. Tracks. The snake. The offering. They poisoned me. <laughs> they poisoned me and stole you from me. <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. My star has made me soft. I have been too kind and too trusting. I grant them safe passage through my land, and they take from me the only thing that I hold dear. The only thing that brings me peace. Is this what they want? Is this what I have to look forward to? My fate? To be constantly on guard, waiting for my next slip, my next failure. I failed you this time, Art, for surviving me and how unstable I am. But I know their type. They're moral in word, and sinful in action and intent. Lies come from their mouths as quick as floods through plains, and with equal saccharine sharpness. Your head must be filled with confusion and pain. Crafted to burden you, control you, and consume you. Fear and doubt 
will plague you and it will bind you to them. They must be cut away from you like a rotten limb, pulled like a broken feather. We can only be saved by each other. We can only be safe together. Us, who hold each other in the highest esteem and who love as if we were one creature. I'll find you. I'll find you. I'll find you. I'll find you. And I will protect you. And I will make sure that no one, no one will take you again. The world will not even know you as a myth. I will hide you so far away, so safe and secret. You will never suffer the lies of others again. You will be mine and mine alone. You are innocent to the evils of sentient beings. How callous and close-minded they can be. How hurtful and damaging. I know what they are like. I know how all beings act. I will find you and I will keep you safe from this world, safe from others, safe from yourself, safe from your own thoughts. You won't just live in my memories as they do. You'll be with me, perfect, happy. I will hold you in my arms again, and I will gaze upon your sweet face. And one day there won't be fear there. You'll learn to love me as I do, as I know you do deep down. We'll be happy together. We can be happy together. But I can't wait here. Every moment I stay, you grow further away from me, and I have wasted so much time in sleep. I still have my family name. Though they disgraced me and paid for it in their blood, I will not tarnish it with further loss. I will be the shadow across the desert and bring my wrath through the land until I find you. And I will not hesitate to remove anyone who dares keep me from you. <laughs>